guys, Robbie 46 here, working yourselves back to Ride 4 in the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode today. We're going to do the next race, race 6 of the World Superbikes League, using the Suzuki GSX-R1000R for this one. So let's go. Okay, so we've got a special Joran Mir livery on it. I'm going to go for a hard rear tyre for this one and see how we actually get on. Hopefully we will be okay. But we'll have to wait and see. So using the Suzuki for this one. So into Lagos. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. Tw uh, 13 laps for this one. That was a good start. Down to turn one. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're currently in fifth. Oh no. We just clipped our rear on the front end of someone. And down we went, so we're down to 12th place now. Oh, and a big slide there as well. We've got some catching up to do now. This isn't really what I wanted to happen on this race because I know the AI can sometimes be quite competitive around here. So it'll be interesting to see how quickly we can catch back up. So it is uh, just under 3 seconds to 11th place. Just under 5 seconds to the leader at the moment got to see if we can catch them up I think we're doing that already tyres are okay at the moment but they should be soon as it's lap one okay up towards this hairpin right we're near the end of lap one. We're still in 12th, but the gap is 1.8 to uh, 11th. And yeah, still just under five seconds to the leader. So the, the gap to the leader hasn't come down a huge amount, but it has come down to 11th place. I'll tell you what, the front tyre is getting quite warm already. we we'll have to look, look out for that. Maybe I should have gone for a hard front tyre like I should have done in the previous race as well. Medium just getting a bit too hot. So we're nearly on the back of this group at the moment. Gap to the leader has come down a bit. 4.3 as it stands. Need to see if we can get past them. There's a big gap there though between the two groups. We've got a lot of work to do once we get past these. Okay. That might work. It has because we're on the inside now for the left-hander. So, yep, that is a position made up. We're up to 11. Can we do a similar sort of move through here? Again, we're going to be in the inside for the left. Yep. I worked a treat. Nice. Okay, oh, try and cut back underneath if I can, come on, yeah, there we go, that's ninth, can we sneak eighth as well, oh, that was close, but we have got it, we've got it, so eighth place now, 3.7 to the leader as we go into seventh place, so the gap to the next group is just over two seconds. So we've got plenty of time. Don't have to panic yet. We're only on lap three. Let's keep it going. Alright. Oh, steady. Through there, that's fine. Okay. So far, not too bad. Yeah, we are catching them. But again, the gap to the front is still three and a half seconds. So the gap to the leader is not coming down as quick as I thought it would. Okay. 
In fact, it looks like the gap may have gone up slightly. Oh, that's wide. Okay, that's going to be the end of lap number three. Come on. We can do this. Okay, 1.7 over the line to sixth position. Just about got it stopped for turn one, using quite a bit of the rear brake to get it stopped for turn one. But again, the front tyre is still pretty hot. Rear tyre is doing absolutely fine. So, through turn four. And the gap is really coming down now. One second to sixth position. Come on, we can close it down more. Oh, we're nearly on the back of them now. We're nearly on the back of them. Yeah, that's fine. So we're on them. We're on them. That's good. We're 0.7 quicker on this lap than our previous best lap, so that's good. Here we go for a position. That is sixth place. Just about not really. The MV Augusta managing to hold its own there, but we are through eventually. Okay, down towards turn one. Going to have to go careful on the brakes. Oh, no. Oh, he just came over to my side of the track. That made us go in a little bit too hot. We have got up to fifth place though, so that's fine. Work still to do 1.4 to the leader. Can we get fourth here? Yes, we can. Going a little bit wide, but that's okay. Fourth place on lap five. Try and get past this Ducati at the moment. Okay. Well, the good thing is we can see the leader, so we know they're not that far ahead now. Should be able to get maybe third place through here if we can get a better run out. Which we have. There's third. Job done. Okay. We're in the top three. Just two more positions to get. On to the start finish. See if we can close in on the brakes a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Are we stopping? Not really. Way too hot into that. Stayed on track though, so that's fine. Oh, I can hear that Ducati. There was its front wheel as well. Oh, that's too hot into there. No, making a few too many mistakes at the moment. Is the Ducati back through? No, not yet. Just about holding the Ducati off at the moment. So, we're nearly there. Take a late apex up towards the next hairpin. I think our best bet to, to make positions up is where we've been making the majority of our positions up, and that is out of the next corner. We seem to be getting a slightly better drive out of this corner. You know, this has been a bad lap, but here we go. Yep, yeah, that's second. As we close in on the leader as well. Might be able to take the lead. 
Okay, here we go for the lead. Didn't get them by the line, but we are past. Are we staying here? Are we stopping? A little wide. No. Oh. No, we're fine. Okay. There we go. We now lead on lap seven. That's fine. We should just be able to pull away now then. So... Let's just uh, try and edge away if we can. But yeah, we wasn't expecting to, you know, get back to the front that quickly. Not that we got to the front anyway, but obviously we had a bit more work to do this time around with that first lap crash. But it's okay. We now lead by just over half a second. We should just be able to continue to just edge away. Even if it's just a few tenths of a second every sector. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so end of lap seven. We've got a one second lead now. So now we can just tick these laps off one by one and win this race as well. Oh, that's too hot. No, just a little bit. Wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. I thought I was going a bit too wide there. So four more races to go after this one. So we're over halfway through this league, which is good. And once we've done this, we'll go on to the World Endurance League. Oh, no, no, steady, stop, stop. Oh. Okay, well, we couldn't stay on that one. We had a similar situation at Laguna Seca on the Suter, but we managed to save that. But this one on the Suzuki couldn't save that. Big old tank slapper and just couldn't get it quite under control to, to stay on. So that has dropped us all the way down to 7th place now. So we've got work to do again and not as much time to do it in as well. So we're on lap 8. And we're getting towards the end of lap 8 as well. And there is a little bit of a gap from 5th uh, to 4th. So we're going to have to bear that in mind. But yeah, not a good time to crash, that's for sure. Just unsettled the bike big time on the outside curb. I'm going to have to watch out for that. I'm going to try and stay away from that particular curb throughout the rest of the race because we don't want another crash like that. I thought I just about got it under, under control, but unfortunately not. Oh. oh, I tell you what, we threaded the eye of the needle there and that worked spot on. So sixth place again. Add a turn three, should get him on the run down to turn four. And we do. Nice, okay. So the gap to fourth is just under two seconds, two and a half to the leader. That's my best first sector so far. Right, stay away from this outside curb. That, just kissing it is fine, but it's when you go over to the second part of that curb. That's when the bike really unsettles. A little bit too hot into that. Just pushing a little bit too much at the moment just to catch them back up. But we are nearly back with them, which is a good thing because we're coming towards the end of lap 9. Which means we've only got a few laps left to go. But we're pretty much with the leading pack now. Okay. Oh, can we get both of these on the brakes? Ooh, come on, stop, 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 stop. Just about two for one. So we're now third. Try not to spin the rear too much. Front tire still hot. 
But this is looking pretty promising now. We're pretty much with the leaders. And we've still got a few laps to go. Stay away from the outside kerb. Yeah, we're on them. We are on them. Just got to find a way past. Okay. Left the door wide open there to take a late apex. No one was close enough to get up the inside of me. Gonna just try and take some wide sweeping lines just to try and get the exit out of the corners, just to close in and maybe take advantage of that. So if we go wide entrance and then a tight exit through here as they go wide, that's second place. Ooh, we nearly took the lead there, but they just cut us off. We can still take it though. Nicely done. So we're back into the lead at the end of lap 10. Three laps to go. Down to turn one. Spot on that time. Okay, let's just uh, see if we can continue to pull away. But this time, let's not make a mistake like we did a few laps ago, which resulted in a crash. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh, too hot into that. Haven't pulled away by much at the moment. Front tyre has cooled down a little bit at the moment, so that's good. Yeah, not pulling away a huge amount at the moment. Gap's just over half a second. I mean, it will probably extend through the last few corners, I'd imagine. Okie dokie. So yeah, the, the lead's gone up to one second now, so that's good. Two laps to go. Right, penultimate lap time now. Again, spot on for turn one. So what, just looking at the mini-map, 12th position, they have not had a good race at all. They are miles behind 11th. We've obviously had quite a few crashes. So not looking good for them. Our lead's still just over one second. Just like before, I'd imagine that's going to go up quite dramatically in the last sector. Nearly onto the dirt there. Okay. It's going up a little bit, the gap. Towards two seconds now, our lead. Oh, that's a little bit too hot into there from me. Yeah, over two seconds now, one lap to go. Good. Oh no, too hot into there. Way too late on the brakes. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. Where is everyone? Oh, there's one. There's two. We're back down a third. This is a final lap as well. What a stupid time to go wide at turn one. Luckily, we are going to recover for the lead. Just completely wasn't paying attention and completely just outbreaked myself there. We are back into the lead. Stay away from the outside kerb. Well away from that. Right, let's get this one sorted. This is the final lap. A 
Leads already over half a second, which is looking very promising. Just a few corners left to go. Leads back up to one second. Through turn 14. And then we just got the run to the line. We are going to win. Again, made it more difficult for myself. Didn't need to do that. Wasn't intending to do that, but uh, obviously we had that crash on lap one where we just clipped our rear on the front of someone else. Then we had that massive tank slapper as well, which uh, didn't go too well. And couldn't quite hold on to it. So, And then obviously on the final lap, just ran off track. Right then, four races to go. So the next one is Suzuka. Then we got Portomayo, uh, Phillip Island and Nürburgring GP circuit. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.